Now we need to address the bottom of the pants, the hem. So I went ahead and I tried these on and determined that I want to bring these up about an inch and a half. So I'm going to plug in my iron. And the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to press just a quarter of an inch of a hem. Then after that's pressed, I'm going to press again the rest of the way. This would be about an inch and a quarter. And then I will stitch nice and close to this inner edge. And that is going to be my hem here. As I'm doing my quarter of an inch here, I am going to just turn my pants inside out here because I find that it is easier to iron this way and just rotate it and keep ironing the hem up here. Now I am going to just take and fold that my inch and a quarter here. And then I'm gonna iron or press this. And I could also pin this too, which I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna keep rotating, pressing and pinning all the way around. And then once I get done with this pant leg, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. And then I will go over to my sewing machine and finish sewing up the hem here. Now that I have that pressed and pinned, I'm gonna take off this part of my sewing machine so that my little pant leg fits around a little bit easier here. And I usually start at one of my seams here, and I'm going to stitch nice and close to that inner edge. And I'm going to just do that all the way around, back stitching at the beginning and the end, and then going ahead and doing the other pant leg. And then here we have my finished pants and you can see on the bottom here I have a finished hem there. So that's what it should look like. That's your last step. Just make sure you have everything trimmed um, and it looks nice and finished and polished before you turn it in for any grading.